So we have Matic here, Matic versus uh, US dollar in this case, uh, requested by Mr. J3F, so credit him. Four hour daily, hourly, much love, Dr. Must Mustache Fred. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. Uh, anyways, the first thing that kind of sticks out to me here on the daily is that it is above all major movement averages, and we do have higher lows as long as we're essentially, especially above like 130 to 133 or so. Daily RSI is freshly breaking into the bullish control zone and holding there for the first time since may middle of may actually as a uh, volatility is in a bit of an expansive phase right here above the 50 percentile mark so i do like that Let's see how the lower term time frames look on this one short-term time frames very similar to a lot of the other charts that we've seen today as long as it's maintaining the short-term time frame uptrend i do look for this to trade sideways and up from this region where that starts to get destroyed below well basically either the last four hour spike low or any sort of a closure uh, any sort of a closure below there especially which is 136 and a half if that were to happen i would look for a run down to about 125 first and then very likely try for a bounce there until then though i look at this one as sideways and up um, with your next resolution point anywhere above yesterday's high which is 158.33 and then i'd be looking at a move back up towards your June highs, actually at about 183, 184 region. And this thing probably joins a lot of the other more powerful altcoins that have been essentially making runs at the prior highs. Weekly, pretty fucking good right here. Uh, generally speaking, I would be looking for this one to kind of play out the same sort of thing that we have seen on several of the other ones with that same setup with the hidden bullish evidence back in the bullish control zone. In this case, you know, typically going to be uh, testing around your prior weekly highs, which is about a, a little bit above two bucks. But that's not happening today or tomorrow. That's probably, you know, a month, you know, month or two away if that does want to play out. Again, this one not as interesting as some of the other ones that we have seen, but uh, but still a decent chart, uh, all things considered. And uh, and again, basically, you know, medium to long term bullish as long as you're above about 133 um uh, again with the short-term time frame analysis in mind for potential short-term time frame uh targets but for right now okay all right cool nice little quick one right there and we shall move on